Hello guys, oh. uh, I do apologize for the first part because I noticed that the audio quality is not that great, so I won't, so, sorry about that, um, hopefully this is better, or what not, so, let's see. Don't ask me how I'm doing, let's just keep going. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. All right. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. <laughs> Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? <laughs> Actually, I do. I remember that in the first playthrough, I well, the first uh, time I played this, uh, not recording, I had Ben with me because I actually let him live, um, and the whole alley thing and whatnot. It's good to be moving. Man, look at Lee. You're doing good. I'm not, but I'm trying, man. What happened? Honestly, you know how many nights Cat and I laid in that broke down RV. And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. All of them. Every damn night. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful cross here. Oh, wow. Okay, but hopefully the audio in this part is better, so, but, yeah, usually I have to wait until after the video is done recording to actually go and check, and if it's some messed up, then I would probably have to redo this, but if it's better, then I'll continue and finish it off, but I will leave River it in the just up ahead. the first part, apologizing for, you know, the audio quality in the first one. Nope. Law of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. Let's get off of here now. Yep, that. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Well? I'm so sorry. We have to get it back. That's our lifeline to her. We can find this guy without it. Then what if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Please, right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Christ, Why? Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Oh. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast. Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Just, uh... Oh. Grab onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. Come on. Oh, come on. Ah! 
<coughs> Shit! Oh my god, and of course the pole hitting the ground. Here they come. No. Oh my god, they're in there. Shit, they're in there! Oh Fuck! God. Jump up here, baby! Let's go! Jump! <laughs> she, she can't reach. Me and my fucking mouth. What are you doing? Get her, Ken! Said all that shit. And not do something now. Come on, reach! I got you, hun! Save her! Go, go, go! You fucking hear me? Kenny! Get Kenny! Where are you? Get the fuck off me! No! Go! Help me! Go! Where? Where'd he go? We don't know. He could be down there still. He, he could be on the run. He, he, he could be gone. He could be okay. He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Shit, man. Lee is pissed. Man. If only, if only if that damn, if she didn't fall with the pole or whatnot, we could have brought her up. Or, if we, I mean, yeah, uh, falling and, not, and, you know, the pole hitting the ground and making them up there would have been easier. Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Kitty was my friend. As soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. They get to know more Tory police. I understand. This is a shitty time. I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone. Means Omid and I have to stay safe for her. Yeah, you do. Let me take all the risks. That's not what I mean, necessarily. It's what I mean. It's what we gotta do. All right. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. <laughs> Going first. You're the lighter. He's got a busted leg. You're walking for two. Obviously not doing it's right. The decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first. I'm bitten. I'll go first. In case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Oh my god. Come on, Lee. You gotta get the Clem. Just go nice and slow. Oh my god, look how many there are down there. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Oh, fuck! 
that shit. Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there. Lee is such a badass. Seriously, he is. Oh my god. this shit. Oh yeah, let's do it. Alright, you piece of shit. Oh my god. Come on, Lee. Almost there. He's better than Chuck Norris. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Lee is just an awesome character. He's a badass. Alright. Oh my god, look at all that blood. Somebody's in there. <laughs> Obviously. It's the only door that I can go in. Alright. Huh. Oh, shit. I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. <laughs> yeah. Go over there. Holy shit, <laughs> what the hell? Put your things down. Let me out! Out there. Oh my god. I was gonna say I'm here. Quiet, please, sweetie. 
your things there. You son of a bitch. This is all I've got, okay? Let's see if I can lie. You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Ha! I still got my weapon. I still got my cleaver, at least. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest full of all sorts of food, oh. water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal bee, some killer out in the woods, some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Who gives a shit? I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I hurt her a long time ago. How? She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on the way to class, canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. Your people, be. That asshole in the ball cap his stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. Yeah, funny. They're kind of dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them... A day later, in the road. Huh. Do I look like a monster to you? Not really. We all are, to be honest. But, no. No. I'm not like you. You let that little girl get fed disgusting human meat. 
I do my best. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I fucked up. Yes, you did. How could you do all this? Of course. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm going to hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. You look dead. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. The she zombie bonkers, bro. Uh, I don't think you should give a shit about your birthday. <laughs> Hey, honey, I think this is all going to work out. For you. I'm glad, too. <laughs> wow, your knots must be pretty pathetic. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. Oh, my God. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. No! <laughs> oh! The meat cleaver. No! Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. guys. Oh my god. She killed him. It's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. 
her. I gotta tell her that I'm bitten. Afraid. I'm white. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Damn. All right. Oh, wow. He had his wife. Don't look at me. No, I know. Damn. Oh, back the way we came. Whoa. Okay. Hello. You're not touching me. <laughs> he only had two shots? What? It, it didn't bite you. Yeah. I know it. Must have. You're covered in all that gross stuff. Wait a minute. He had two I shots? A bunch of them to get here. That one, and plus the one he missed when he when I jumped him in the chair. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. What kind of asshole only has two shots and a pistol? The guy could have brought more. Yeah, I wouldn't look. Can I tell him to look? You might want to pinch your nose. Yeah. Alright. Oh, no. No, okay, she does it all right. Oh, anyways. Jesus. Ugh. Oh my god. That's disgusting. We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. <laughs> That's just nasty, man. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Oh, my God. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Uh, hopefully we get to a next gameplay point because that way I can um, end this part and we'll start the next one. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and end it here for now. I hope you guys did enjoy this part. Um... I think one was done with this, or whatnot, but I hope you guys did enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in the next part. See you then.